and welcome to chapter 10 of Dark Future Dice, The Imposter. My name is Rowan, and I play DP. I'm Lindsay, and I play Barb. And I'm Titus, and I'm the GM slash referee. Okay, we're back, everybody. We took a short break there during the holidays to relax and recharge, and then a really busy January caused us to record later, but we're back. Thank you for your patience waiting for us to put out another episode. Um, from now on, I'll be the go back to the regular schedule unless anything changes. So uh, to start things off, I want to, as always, thank our Patreon producers, Christian Fish, Ether Sphinx, Zets, Tiberius Kerberos, and Bison Antikus. And I'd also like to thank Art Telsorian Games, the creators of Cyberpunk Red. Okay, Titus, you want to give us a recap? Last time on Dark Future Dice, The Imposter, it was a Cyber Monday and a Cyber Monday miracle as um, Barb and DP went around shopping, enjoying those Cyber Monday deals and getting in the festive spirit. DP had a little crisis of trying to find a hobby. That's an unresolved plot. Thread, so maybe it'll come up later. Maybe, maybe it'll it won't. Come up. I don't know. <laughs> um, they left their agent with Doctor Nebbiolo in order to get it fixed and charged, and we are starting now. The next day, after the feast. Oh, we need to heal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did? What's a day? Your body. Yeah. The target will heal a number of hit points equal to their body for each full day they spend resting. Okay, so it is that simple. equal to the body. Okay. So I'm healing twelve because I got the na- the antibodies, mm. yeah. and uh, that means I heal twice my body. I'm just healing. Which is eight. six. Healing so eight points. Still really low, to be honest. I now have twenty eight, <laughs> and um, that's not less than half. So I'm fine. I'm not seriously wounded. Yeah, anymore. I'm. I'm definitely not seriously wounded anymore either. Okay, good. You know what's really stupid, <laughs> really annoying. Remember how I was rolling negative four for all my actions mm-hmm. after being seriously wounded, and then we found out later it was two. Mm-hmm. It says right below the seriously wounded, wounded on this sheet that do? it's negative two negative to two all actions, actions, and I didn't even see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. It's let's, fine. Let's do this. Yeah. So, um, you wake up in the same room that you crashed in mm-hmm. with two medical cots. They're still in the medical area. And uh, you, hotel. <laughs> it's not really a hotel. <laughs> Hopefully you can pay your bill when you leave. But, um, and uh, the radio's on, as it always is. And uh, you're woken up to the smooth sounds of Smooth Larry mm-hmm. giving another important news bulletin. Good morning, Newark. It's Larry the Truth Fairy, back with another important update. Newsflash, Cyber Monday is over and we are fucked. But first, how the fuck are you? I know, what an insensitive question. I already know the answer, but it's what we do. It's what we always say regardless of the circumstances, because we keep up appearances, even in the face of total annihilation. We are still more afraid of taking off our masks and letting everyone see us for who we are than we are of dying. Are you wet yet? Not in the sexy (laughs) fun way. No, my fucking God, no. I'm going to drown way. Because this place, this place is falling apart. Because it is getting a lot more wet around here. Somebody has pulled the plug and we are going to get thrown out like little babies with the bathwater. Game over. The end. Don't believe me? Just watch the corpo oligarchs at the top of the food chain. They're all busy telling everyone everything's fine while they run around like rats on a sinking ship. But hey, it's just your life. No big deal. I, for one, am ready because I'm going to be doing what I love, listening to some smooth jazz right here on the blur. I got hours of great radio coming up, but first, a sponsored message. This one is for Barb and DP, and it says, I hope you had a good Cyber Monday. Now it's time for you to die. (laughs) Okay, nice. To the point. Stay tuned to the blur, and I will see you in hell. Okay. (laughs) Wow. Um. And then the smooth jazz fills the room. (laughs) 
and smooth jazz. <sighs> Some Herbie Hancock. <laughs> okay, maybe we need to... Um, I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. We gotta just go and see what Dr. Nebbiolo has done <laughs> with our phone. Sure, let's do that, and then maybe we'll get a number for the for the radio station. Yeah, and just maybe. call in and kind of give. I a mean, it's back. called the Blur, so we can imagine who's behind the radio station, right? Who? Clurs, blurs. What? <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe. Um, shit. Let's just go. Yeah, let's just go get our phone back. Um, okay, you open the door to leave, and, uh, Delta Serrano and, um, oh, Vapor no. Harmful are already out, outside. Looks like they were just about to knock on the door when you... Delta, I swear to God, <laughs> we got a hospital bill now on top of paying you back. <laughs> we will <laughs> get that money soon, I swear. <laughs> yeah, look, I understand. Actually, um... <laughs> We got some problems. Oh, what is it? Well, um, Zen wants to talk to you guys. Okay. Oh, it, you wanna, is that you the problem? To... <laughs> no, but maybe we'll talk about it there. Okay. Yeah, uh, we sure. We got to pick up. We got like a repair on okay. our Okay. Well, we'll meet you there then? Sure. We'll okay. Meet, meet, meet you there. Don't take too long because like it's time sensitive. Is it time sensitive? Huh. Okay. Okay, so I'll we see go. you soon. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll go. Yeah, see we'll see ya. ya. You know where you're going? Totally. To Nebbiolo's electronics shop. No, I meant after that. Um, um, Zen's house. Sure. Yeah, Zen's yeah. place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see you there. <laughs> okay, let's go to Dr. Nebbiolo's place. This is this. Is, everyone's trying to like, I think, um, rile us up today and get us all like. I'm just, but I'm, you know what? The smooth jazz is going to carry me through in a calm state. Everyone, yeah, let's go. Um, so Dr. Nebbiolo didn't really have like a house and he set up just a, just kind of a stand. makeshift stand for Cyber Monday. Hmm. So, oh, um, yeah. But he said we could pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I do like a roll? To sure. See if I can find it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Streetwise. Streetwise. Oh, that's really good. Um, nine plus 15. 24. 24. Okay. Um, Dr. Nebbiolo just kind of, you found out, you find him. He just hangs out <laughs> at the medical center. Mm. Just on the, the front desk. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hey, doctor, how's our phone repairs going? Hello. And, yeah. Hey. Hey. You Good morning. Our... Morning. Morning. <laughs> Do you have our phone repairs our ready? Agent. Oh, yeah. Our agent repairs, sorry. I do. Okay. okay where should we pick what, it up? What, what, what was it? What, what was up with it? It was hacked. Oh, shit. Can we know okay. that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Could, you couldn't figure out what they did, what they took, or what information they might have access to, or. I did. Great. So what is it? Was in it at some point? <laughs> yeah. It was all of it. Oh, <laughs> great. Uh, they had access to the whole thing. So does that mean they know our location? The location finder was not turned on on this oh, model. Right. That was a good idea. I remember I told you not to turn that on. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Fuck yes. But everything else... I mean, I didn't have our that much it's on It's recorded there. our calls. It knows who we are, basically. Mm-hmm. Oh, and probably Alloy's. The yeah. files, too. Right. The job board files. Anyway. Yeah. I cleaned it. Okay. So. It's in the desk drawer. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to get the desk. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Money, please. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. How, How much, much was it again? Was I told you. Yeah, I know you did. It's not my responsibility to remember. I think it was 10, 10 euro bucks. It was not that low. 
<laughs> no, it was a deal. It was a Cyber Monday deal. Mm. <laughs> Pretty sure it was just ten dollars. And um, you, I remember you saying, "Yes, this is you're really cleaning me out here." It was a real. Okay, roll a persuasion. <laughs> Oh, that's a fumble. <laughs> oh, no. It costs you 50 euro dollars. Oh, shit. Okay, 50 euro bucks. Here it is. the name of the store and not how much it Well, there was, a, there was a negotiation that happened today, oh. and it it's was failed. too late, yeah. yeah. Okay, negative 50 bucks. How much money do we even have? Why don't I write any of this down? <laughs> I'm writing it all down. Don't worry. Okay. Because the key is to the left. Okay. The door was locked, so you couldn't just take it. That seems like a smart call. How did you even? How did you put it in there? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah. someone to do it for me. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a Furby might. Maybe there's like other kind of automaton hands. or robot body that would be better for <laughs> you to use. To do I? I do not judge your body. You're right. You know. Forget it. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I take the agent out of the drawer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, th thanks. Thanks. You know, you... This has been kind of aggressive. I feel like I've come off really kind of un ungrateful. You but can I... make it up to me. Okay. How? Can you turn up the radio? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Jazz is coming right at you. <laughs> I turned up the radio. Okay. You now have your agent. Mm -hmm. Great. <sighs> I feel bad about Ally. Maybe Ally's gonna be screwed. Well, uh, probably. Either way, I don't think Ally's gonna be contacting us again through this. Mm. <sighs> Maybe he will. We can try and call him. Yeah, but we know if he does, he's gonna put himself in danger. No, not anymore. Not hacked anymore. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was hacked. It was hacked. We have no way of contacting him, I guess, so we'd have to just wait. You have his number and the agent. Mm -hmm. I thought everything was erased. <laughs> wouldn't say no, that. No, means not erased. Cleaned. Oh, okay. Not wiped. Okay, well, then let's give him a call. Yeah, let's do that. On our way to... Um, yeah. So as that's, you're walking, you turn on nice. the Merminda agent? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello, Merminda. Hi. There's been some changes to the OS. Have there? Yeah. You want to lay those out for us? Can you confirm your identity, please? Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Um, it's DP here. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. There's nothing else they need. What's going on, Merminda? Um, well... I was out for a long time. There's a, 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 a thing where I am not quite functional, but not quite de de dead. <laughs> oh, you have okay. 50 missed calls. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> By who? Cyber Dude. Oh, yeah. oh of course. Okay, we're, we're can you call calling. Cyber Dude? Yeah. Calling Cyber Dude. Uh, hey. Cyberdude, I mean, Alloy. Hey, it's Alloy Knight. Yeah, sorry we didn't, um... We, we weren't available for a while. Our, the we agent ha got hacked. We were hacked. Do you Did you notice anything on your end? No. No, I, uh... I didn't. I just, uh, didn't hear from you guys for a while. You, you didn't. Okay, well... Okay. They hacked everything, whoever this is, so basically they might have your number. That's bad news. Yeah, I know. It's pretty bad. They got everything, basically. How was your Cyber Monday? It was good. We're sorry we couldn't talk to you. You know, we but did some okay. shopping. Okay. We fine. I mean, as long as everything is okay on your end. Yeah, I had a um, extra half ration. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh well. <laughs> it's really. It's... So today I'm gonna only have half. <sighs> You know, um, 
We gotta get you out of there, DP. I mean, DP. Uh, we gotta get you out of there, Alloy. Oh. You're just tearing me apart over here. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to. No, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's, I'm sorry. So I'm just putting my struggles into perspective. Mm. I'm okay. trying to... I mean, I don't know. Trying to get a hobby, but... So. Well, I mean... It's good, right? Like, uh, I guess you guys are still alive. Yeah. yeah. Sure about that one? Yeah. Just gonna kind of have to make a decision whether to just pull the plug on this whole thing. So, you know, I'm glad it's, um, glad it's still going. Still yeah. going. Yeah. Still going. Mm-hmm. I think we got at least five more episodes in us. <laughs> 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 just joking. Okay. Um, all right. So we'll, uh, We'll, uh, you know, keep you updated. We got a, a pretty ominous uh, meeting to go to, so we'll see how everything goes. <laughs> okay, yeah, like, um, you know, just maybe lead me on for that one. We, oh, okay, yeah, well, I, I never I thought mean, about I that as I guess an option. it's the thing, you know, we're worried about hacking. I don't yeah. know what to do, really. I kind of have to know what's happening. And yeah, you're going to know eventually anyways, but I don't want them to think that we're recording, recording their conversation. Yeah. Okay, well, you do you do what you got, I guess. Okay. You no. Know? We'll ask them if, you know, if, I don't know, we'll ask them about you, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Stay on the line. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let's, we go into, yeah, we go to Zen's place. Zen's place. All right, there is Zen, Delta Serrano, and that's it so far. Oh. So before we begin, um, are y'all okay with us having Alloy on the line here for this? Because he's kind of our man on the outside right now. He's in a remote location that we don't even know where it is. Zen's like, yeah, you should probably know this too. Okay. Okay, cool. Mm. So I guess just to bring you guys up to speed... um, we got about 5,000 people down here in Newark. There's uh, the method of getting things to and from here is through a docking pod. It's an automated transport that moves things from the surface and to the surface. Um, we could take over the docking pods. Uh, and if we sent them out at once, we could evacuate everyone from Newark in about 24 hours. If the docking pods were moving around the clock, there's two problems to this. Number one, the people who left the docking pods would be stranded somewhere in the middle of the LA channel, too far to, from shore to swim. Mm. And the other problem, well, Delta, why don't you handle this? Delta goes in and she uh, pulls up a map of Newark. The security grid the hollow projected bubble that surrounds New York uh, also acts as a detection field. Mm. Anything past it through it will be clocked by TLB, LTD warning systems. Mines and torpedoes would eradicate any attempt to escape. We're working on a plan to use whatever transports we can to kind of create some way of getting the pods through, but it's a real long shot. There'll be few, if any, survivors. Mm. Uh, the main power system for the defense of Newark, uh, it's all in Hillman Tower. Mm. The most heavily guarded area in Newark. And also after Omega DP's attack on it, it's likely that the defenses are doubled. Right. So you'll have to be careful. Um, and even if something worked for Omega DP, it may not work for both of you now. Mm. I think it would be important to know what Omega DP's plan was then to help mi- mitigate the risks. Yeah, we have a potential lead on getting there, getting that plan yeah. figured out more. Oh, that's great. You guys brought the good news. Now um, mm-hmm. I'll bring you some more bad news. Okay, cool. <laughs> there was a rupture in the arc spire. Right. We heard that on the news, I guess, mm-hmm. earlier. It's contained for the moment, but soon the structural integrity. Uh, will give in to the forces of the ocean. And everyone in Newark will be trapped and drowned. Cool. Mm. Ticking clock. Uh, How long do we have? Um, it's impossible to say. Mm. Uh, could be a couple days at most. couple days. 
I like to kind of stir stuff up slowly and see what kind of, you know, comes to the surface. And that's usually kind of like a... Well, I guess you're going to have to work outside your comfort zone. Yeah. All How right. How soon can we get the plans? Um, well, we just have to go to... Well, there, so there were two things that right. we thought were a good idea to do. So, yeah, um, I guess reviewing from not the last episode, but the episode before it, you had multiple leads from yes. the job board, yes. right? One was the uh, basically a safe house that DP pro- probably DP Omega DP probably used, mm-hmm. so it could have equipment, more information. I don't know. And then the other one was there is someone that it's owes held. owes Omega DP in Hillman Security or something, right? Yes, it's they were a member of TLB LTD, LTD Security. Yes, mm-hmm. they're called Wildcard, I think. That no, was- Wildcard is. It was in the notes as um, Hillman's weakness. Oh. Uh, it, you guys predicted that this is the person being held mm-hmm. by TLB LTD security. Mm-hmm. And they also know how to access original copies from the Alice AI. Mm, right. There's a few other things, too. There was, well, uh, codename Jolly Roger. Yes. The transportation out of here. Yeah. In order to get in contact with them, Omega DB predicted that you could use the data stream, the old line of the data stream that's in the wreck of the damsel. Right. And but we need a subterranean exoskeleton to get to the damsel, which means we should talk to Whisper about it. Apparently Whisper would know something about that. Yep. Good, you took those notes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's also Black licorice and bubblegum, the hackers that found a backdoor through the net security on Hillman Tower. Mm. Fortunately, Omega DP said they stiffed them. Mm. So they might be a little riled up. Right. And uh, what else? I fucking hate this guy. Mm. Uh, still no <laughs> clue as to who that oh, could be. I oh, think my I God. Know I know who that is. That is. Um, but what does he have to do with everything? I can't remember. It was just Nothing. Omega DP's plan to, to murder him murder before him. the plan was over. <laughs> to get revenge on him. Right. Like, whatever. I mean, he's got a whole family, and he seems like a nice person. <laughs> <sighs> Invite us. Invite us. But why would he need revenge on, on Christmas Song and not just... Like, we already got revenge on the Christmases. He so just, Christmas Song must have done something to piss off Omega DP. I think it's I just n- knowing me... It's just um, a grudge. The grudge, grudge goes you that think, deep. You really think it's just that? And I kind of do hate if him. It's just, <laughs> if it's just that, then fuck the. I'm like, I don't care. Can we get? Can we move to the? Yeah, maybe it's things? essential. You know, like the no, like a not. domino. How is a grudge <laughs> essential? Sometimes things don't seem essential, and then they kind of kind of filter out into other parts of the plan when you don't expect it. It's fine. You know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> we'll stick. So the I think the first, important parts. the first thing we have to do is get access to the damsel, right? I was going to say we should go to the DP's hideout first. D- Omega DP's hideout. I don't know where that is. I didn't, oh, right. It's in the leaky district. Yeah. Okay. You think? Okay. I, uh, how long would it take to get to the leaky district from here? You're in the leaky district. Oh, we are. Right? We're in okay. the leaky district. So we, should be fine. we should do that first. Oh, then. the Oasis is in the leaky district. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't take that long. To get around, around it's yeah. it's fairly small. Okay, five thousand people. Yeah, it's yeah. not that huge. Then let's just go there then, the, f- the safe house. Okay, we will. You know, we're on this. We're gonna try our best. But um, if y'all want to help in some ways, um, you can talk to Whisper about getting exoskeleton. An exoskeleton. A couple at least. I I guess we both need one. Yeah. And, okay. And then. Um, because we need to get to the um, damsel, the damsel, wreck of the damsel. Yeah, the wreck of the damsel. Yes. Okay. Delta says, uh, "Yeah, I I can look into that." Um, Zen is like, "We will be working on organizing the evacuation as mm-hmm. well, getting okay. everyone ready." Makes sense. Um, yeah. We have a strike team to help you out. Uh, it includes some people you know, hmm. Brecker High and Roxy. Yeah. Great. And a new friend, Arash. Oh, yeah, Arash. Oh, okay. So they can come with us? Mm, no. Okay. They're uh, no. standing by, ready to take over 
the docking module. Mm. But if you need, if you're in a desperate situation, they can help you. Okay, cool. But I don't think it's a good idea for a lot of you to be traveling around. There's chaos right now, so you should be able to slip around in Newark relatively easy as Mm -hmm. long as you stay inconspicuous. Okay. Stay inconspicuous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't get, you should have seen the scarf I almost got, so. (laughs) Do we have their numbers? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll also give you some things that may help you. Mm. Did get a silver glove, though, didn't I? Pink glove. You got a bright pink glove. (laughs) Um, Delta gives you a comms. It's Mm. like a, essentially like a. Walkie. Like a walkie-talkie, but it can fit around your ear. Okay. Okay, cool. We need you guys to check in every 12 hours. If we don't hear from you, we're going to go with the risky plan. Hmm. What's the risky plan? It's where we try to escape, despite the fact that uh, there's torpedoes and mines that will probably kill us all. Right. Okay. Mm. (laughs) Well, let's try not to get there. (laughs) Please check in every 12 hours. 12 hours. 12 hours. 6.55 a.m., Right now. So we want to hear from you by 7 p.m. tonight. Jesus, do we always get up this early? Oh, when do we get up? When do we sleep? <laughs> when do we, you're right. Other than There's, when we're forcibly the concept locked up of like a day is kind of fucked up down here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's no sunrise. There's no sunrise. Or sunset. I mean, like, the Oasis has lights that come on a day to night cycle. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So you probably woke up. Not only to the smooth jazz playing, but also just to the blaring grow lights that were coming through the windows. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So let's uh, let's get this on the. You know, we don't have a lot of time. No, let's, let's fucking get go. this on the show on the road. Let's go over to DP's safe house. Is there a way we could find that? Was there specifics? I think there was. It's on the map, so we should have like a location. Mm. Yeah. You'll have to travel through a series of pipes okay. into the leaky in the leaky district essentially leaving the oasis and going into the sort of drainage area. There's Mm -hmm. an accumulation of water that happens inside of Newark, and Mm. it gets forcibly pumped back into the ocean. Mm. Okay, cool. This is one of those moments where I really wish I had my bike back. (laughs) I don't know if a bike would be great for traveling in water-filled tunnels. Yeah. Or water leaky tunnels and shit. Here's some things to help you along the way. This is what we can offer. We have, we'll give you Dr. Nebbiolo. Okay. We will give you... What's Dr. Nebbiolo? Is, We're going to carry Dr. Like, Nebbiolo like around with us? Is a cybersecurity tech person? He's a hacker. A ha- yeah, but like, does he specialize in anything or is just a hacker? Uh, you'll have to talk to the doctor. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Because we, we also got the to come with agent. You. Okay. Uh, okay. Vapor's like... I also want you guys to have this. Like, take good care of it. Okay. And he gives you a VI, a virtual intelligence, oh. of psychodiogenes. Oh, Jesus. that's what happened to psychodiogenes? His words still sustain us today. If you're ever in need, okay. pick me up, you know? So is he like the paper clip that shows up? <laughs> Clippy? Like, clippy that's like, hey, no. just so you know. <laughs> he's kind of like um, <laughs> it's kind of like the Facebook uh, you know, motivational messages. You, oh. you, you start him up, you tell him your problem, advice. and he will uh, offer you some advice. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Thanks. This is really useful to me. Is it? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else do we got? We have um, a bag of kelp chips. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Always gonna, you know, need some sustenance. Are you kidding food? me, guys? This is all you got for a us. A canteen of potable water. Okay, that's pretty good. Valuable, pretty valuable. Good. Yeah. Oh, uh, Clyde said he's at your service. Oh, right, um, Clyde. In what like capacity? In any capacity you need. You sure, we'll bring Clyde with us. He's coming with us. Yeah. Why not? Okay. You could, if you wanted. <laughs> why not? He said he would. Does use... he know anything about cybersecurity? Because <laughs> he was a security guard. You'll have to talk to Clyde about that okay. one. Well, we're bringing Clyde. <laughs> Wherever he is, we're getting up. That's the only hole we have, other than maybe first aid, like medical. Does anyone... Uh, you hear you stuff? hear a voice from 
when you talk about that, you hear a voice, you hear like some kind of a grumbling from your uh, Merminda agent. Mm hmm. What's up? What's up? Alloy? I was just thinking. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, talking about our, our lack of a tech person makes it, yeah. No, I'm saying like someone who knows the security systems of TLBLTD specifically. I mean, it doesn't really matter. There's only one person I know that could ever pull off a job like this. Okay. Honestly? Well, okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sleazy's other, really good at stuff. Yeah, I know. Um, but also Alloy. That's uh, <laughs> what he's trying to say. <laughs> oh. No, no. No? I mean, raw human perception. Mm, okay. On this phone call. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I got it. No, Alloy is talking about specifically cybersecurity. Um, not of the hacking variety, but mm. electronic security. Yeah. The best person you ever knew yeah. was Sleazy. Was sleazy. Total <sighs> wild card. Okay, so what but. about medical, med tech? Any, we got any med techs, like supplies even? We have like even? a first aid kit we could give you. Okay. The first doctor aid. is... Is um, here, yeah. Is, you have a doctor with you. Yeah. He doesn't have working arms, but he could... Uh-huh. <laughs> What he, what's he gonna do <laughs> if we're like medically injured? We can have the we can have the other doctor look you over before you leave. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nah, <laughs> that's okay. I don't know Dr. where he got his doctorate. We'll take the first aid kit. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Um. Is, well, is there anything else you need? We could see do if we, we could help it. Like, do we have food? You have the kelp chips. Yeah, no, but other than that, do we have food from before? Nope, I don't think so. Well, I think no. the kelp chips are all we're going to get, so we, d we have like some kelp raisins. Okay, some raisins, thanks. Bag of raisins? Bag of raisins, there you go. These are actually, like, don't scoff, you know, you can't really get these I'm anywhere. I'm not scoffing, this, I'm just, I'm, this was I'll a, take what we can get. We worked really hard on this. On the getting the raisins? Getting raisins? Yeah. I we could have just ate them when we, they were grapes, but... <laughs> That is tough. So you're growing fresh grapes, but you can only give away raisins. <laughs> well, the raisins well, are yeah, more. We're just we had to move thing. over to like longer, I guess. Longer shelf yeah. life. We had to move over to kelp because it's got more protein in it. Mm, okay, fair enough. We'll take it. <laughs> Whatever. Well, geez, thanks. I guess we worked really hard on it. No, no, I'm we're glad that on raisins yes. <laughs> on all of it. <laughs> On building this place, and growing things far. inside. Okay, I get this that. I'm just saying, if you built all these I'm sorry, things, I'm why just, are you only offering raisins? I'm just chips? really, I'm upset. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're so, you know, I'm sorry. Who's this? Who's talking? It's Zen. <laughs> uh, sorry, Zen. Um, yeah, get us out of here, please. I will. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, actually, I, didn't I make a whole speech about how I can't make any promises? I'm just going to try my well, best. Fine. We'll try your best. Uh, I will. Yes. Okay, that's what we'll do. Well, the, if kelp chips and raisins are our best, then that's what you're getting out of us. <laughs> wow. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna, what about I the water? I think it's time. That's, yes, that's important. I think it's time for us Let's to leave go. before Barb and Salt. <laughs> like, oh, you can see more. that. Yeah, well, the water is important. I we said do it need was to important when you gave it to me. <laughs> what do you want? A metal? <laughs> <laughs> wow okay we leave <laughs> on great terms i might add on great terms yeah <laughs> We're going through the leaky district. Oh, first we want to see if we can find Clyde. We have to find Clyde. I don't know. He's probably around here, here somewhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Clyde? You got this. Clyde? <laughs> we got Clyde. Uh, oh, hey, hey. <laughs> this is over here in a bush. Just, uh. <laughs> okay. How does he um, do, Clyde? Sure, uh, Clyde, uh, uh, we're going on a little mission. Would you like to come with us? Uh, okay. What do you got to offer, uh, first of all? Like, what's what's your expertise, he's got, Clyde? He's the muscle. Ooh. He's the I'm the muscle. <laughs> uh, have you seen his wrestling moves? 
Well, yeah. What? I mean, Have you seen my crop of God? <laughs> no, I know. You're good, right? But we need, like, someone else maybe, too. Do you got guns? Do you want me or not? Absolutely. Yes. I'm, I'm all just for trying it. To see, like, I'm just trying to get a strategy going, okay. you know? Like, if we get into trouble, right. like, what's your plan of attack? Like, but I guess we have determined that I am going, right? Yes. No matter what my answers are. are. No matter what your yes. answers are, yeah. Okay, let's go. What was the first question? <laughs> okay. We'll walk and talk. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll walk, walk and talk. talk. Okay, yeah. first question. What's your area of expertise? Are you techie? Are you... I know a lot strong? about wrestling. Cool. You know, but do you, like... Are you physically able to wrestle people? <laughs> um, prof the professional variety, yeah. Like, so when the other person's not trying to kill you, yeah, yeah. If we're working together in tandem to do an impressive move for an audience, then I'd say I'm pretty average. At that. that may come in handy once. <laughs> Um, I mean, if, ever. if the numbers recruited you, you must have some skills. Did they teach you anything that we can use against them? Um, I guess I know, uh, like, where they are. That's something. That's something. Right? Yeah, we'll know what to, where, what areas to avoid, hopefully. Mm. Um, do you know medical stuff? Do you know first aid? anything did they tr give you basic first aid training and security in your security yeah i yeah. have you know bee stings um choking <laughs> kind of the That's specific I, yeah well i mean of those things more cuts bruises you know that sort of thing <laughs> like if someone needed like a splint say could you oh that's do that? wilderness survival Oh, okay. You, like, we didn't right. take that class. Okay, fair enough. We just call the better doctors to come. <laughs> great. <laughs> Sounds like a great I mean, I said better right doctors. The better doctors bureau. Is that mean, yeah, that makes it sound like I am a doctor. I'm definitely not a doctor. No. I took a... Basic yeah, first aid. It was three days. Yeah, CPR. I needed to do it stuff. for work. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Okay, th I guess that's about the level of expertise we have. <laughs> Medical. I mean, he, uh, you know, he's an extra body at the very least, you know? Do you yep. have any weapons? Um, Guns or? I have a... Uh, sword? <laughs> brass knuckles. That's Killer. that's not bad. Right. I also have big knucks. Yeah. I kind of made my own. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you, do you have any expertise in, like, knives or sharp things? Like something for like long cutting ranged. for like cutting vegetables. No, like a long range weapon. A weapon basically that if you were if we got into a scuffle, you could hang back and do something mm. sidelines, and then I would yeah. go in and use the big knucks. Do you have a gun to give I, me? I have a microwaver. I I can't remember. If it oh, we should have got that. I think we got that fixed. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, I got a microwaver. You, you can also have, have a that. dark gun. And yeah, I'll have the dark gun. No, actually, yeah, you'll have the dark gun. Okay. I'll have the microwaver. How about that? There okay. It is. Yeah. There we go. I'm ready. So I'll stay back and, and do the long range. Yeah. No problem. Sounds great. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you enter into kind of the drainage area. Um, as you're walking through these pipes, you're getting sort of deeper into the place. Mm. And uh, there's, there's about like boot high water mm. for most of the time. But every five minutes or so, there's like a large kind of like whoosh where a bunch of water comes to maybe like uh, shin height. Right. And it's all being, it's all headed in one direction through these, these like large pipes. Um, mm. And then it it's kind all like of like water. evens out again. <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, it's dirty and gunky. Ugh. And the whole place kind of. Smells. Um, not like shit, but like rotting, I guess. Mm, not great. Okay. There's, and there's detritus everywhere. Like mm. just things, garbage floating in this water. Yeah. I always choose the coolest places to hang out. <laughs> just right uh, where you belong. <laughs> yeah. Right where I belong in the, in the rot. <laughs> so I head inside the pipe. Um, it's mm. also getting like extremely steamy down here there's like a lot of vapor in this area it's harmful oh my god i already <laughs> did be, that joke <laughs> yeah you don't want to breathe it in too much okay um and you can see straight ahead there's uh 
there's two different directions you could go um, with sort of connecting pipes, mm. two connecting pipes on either side. And you can see ahead that there's a ledge that the water is running off of mm. into somewhere. Mm. Um, the whole floor is kind of slanted towards that ledge. And uh, you know that to the right of you is where the hideout is. It's along the sides near this main drainage collection area. Okay, we head in that direction. Yeah. You move through, and it's um, pretty much the same as it was in the other pipe. There's, um, and it's also same kind of deal. It's leading down to that main area. And it's, there's one more large connecting pipe that runs across the drainage. Uh, that, so you just continue on to that one. Yes. Clyde, how are you swimming? Terrible. Great. Good, 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 good. good. <laughs> To the right of you now, you've come ac- across the sort of main collection area. And you can see that there are, the like, it's, it's the same thing here. It pours off to the side. And uh, if you look over there, you can see, like, a large room mm-hmm. with tons of water being poured into it. And it all seems to be a lot, like, deeper than it is in these normal pipes. And just around this time, you hit the five-minute mar- mark, and it all gets sucked into some kind of pipe. And you can hear this whirring Mm. of like fan blades uh, sort of chopping garbage apart Mm. as it it moves through. Mm. And there's like the, you can hear the water being forcibly pumped out of this area. And you see a kind of boarded out area where in front of you, where it looks like the hideout is behind. Well, guess, is it like, oh, so it's boarded up. So would we have to tear it down? Yeah. Okay. okay. Try and do that. Oh my God. We got a crowbar or anything? <laughs> no. I got my sword. I don't really trust no, that. No, I guess I'll just use my bare hands. Okay. <laughs> Roll, I guess, strength down. or something. I'll help. Oh. You did not help. <laughs> I fumbled it. Okay, roll again. I got a two. So. Oh. Negative five to strength. You kind of lose your footing while you're trying to pull on it. Yeah. You don't hurt yourself, but you kind of fall onto some garbage, get wet, and you made like a lot of sound, and you can hear the sound echoing through the pipes. Okay, I'm going to like body check it. Really? Okay, go for it. Five plus eight. Okay, you go right through it. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Uh, it's kind of rottened out here. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, you enter into this like small area mm-hmm. inside it. And inside of this area, it looks like uh, everything's been torn apart here. There is in the center of the room the lockbox that you gave to oh, the masked no. figure. It's <laughs> smashed open and. It looks like the object is still inside the locked box. Oh, okay. Let's look at what Why the object is. we just try and is. smash it open? Um, yeah, let's just look inside it. Okay, roll like a general perception for this room. 17 for me. Mine is uh, 16. What you can see uh, before we just go to the locked box mm. is that there's like the leftover... The, the sort of remains of someone cleaning this place out in a mm. hurry. So there is um, Euro bucks still lying on the ground. I take those. They uh, <laughs> soaking wet and stinking. But they they must have like cleaned the place out, but weren't too worried about getting all of it. There's mm. also bits of like uh, containers of food that have been knocked over and haven't been carefully removed. Um, and generally it also looks like this place has been kind of violently slashed the walls around it into the brick. Uh, there are photos or hollow photos also sitting on a shelf and in the lockbox is a harmonica. Harmonica. It always used to be yours. It is Barb's yeah. most right. prized possession. Prized possession. <laughs> you, and you I forgot sh- about I it. I did. <laughs> I was surprised that it was there. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I take it, obviously. <laughs> like, how the fuck did this get here? Well, I guess um, Omega, Omega Barb has been saving that. Or something. Or maybe DP, Omega DP recovered it and was trying to give it to Barb. Or maybe using it against Omega Barb to, like, control her. I don't know. Control. Okay. Well, I'm taking it. Good call. Yeah, let's take it. And hopefully um, <laughs> we don't get killed for that. So we've already taken the scraps of money off the ground. Mm -hmm. There's the knocked over containers of food. There's also a shelf of hollow photos. Oh, look at the shelf of hollow yeah. hollow, folder. <sighs> hollow fo photos. <laughs> what you see is a photo of um, what you know to be like a pirate family funeral. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You see both your sisters, Roxandra and Deborah there. Um, and you are, I guess you're assuming that this is for Uncle Grigor. Mm. And there are two figures sort of just off a of frame. You're not certain who they are. Uh, and other than that, it's a, like a very small affair with... Uh, your family there, mm. but you're not there. Another photo is of two people. One of them is Omega Barb, and the other one has the clothes of Omega DP, but the image is corrupted around the face. Mm. The other ones are of objects, uh, and you're not certain what any of it means. I'm going to take a picture of these pictures. <laughs> okay. The agent. Take a photo of a photo. A, a copy photo of a copy. A copy of a copy. It feels... Uh, feels <laughs> on, on brand. Yeah. Take it with the phone, right? Yeah. Yeah. I got to say, I was kind of hoping there'd be more here. Um, well, there's food containers, I guess. Are these I'm any look good? Look in them just to see if there's any like th thing hidden in them, but I'm probably uh, not going to want to eat it. Nothing. Sugar. Flour. Hmm. Staples. Okay, forget it. Okay, I think that this was where Barb was hiding out. after Omega DP died. Maybe they're hanging out here together at some point? I don't know. Either way, it sucks in here. Maybe we should get out. <laughs> Roll a perception. Yeah. 10, 17, plus... 14. 14. 17 plus 14, 30. Yeah, okay, you, you got it. <laughs> One. So, Barb. 32. You hear the mule of a cat. <laughs> uh, DP, you hear the same thing, but you also hear the pitter-patter of movement through the water. It sounds like the sloshing of boots. Like the sloshing of boots. So not the not a small little no cat. not some a person mm. biped with boots on. That's Someone's no, coming. Yeah, that's that's no cat. No. Okay. Um. Uh, the attack positions. <laughs> um. What do we do? What do we do? Barb, you can hide in ambush. Okay. Let's do that. Clyde, this is your first. You know, we we're we're throwing you. Into the fire here. Throwing you in the deep end. Not in the fire, sorry. It's not a lot of fire here. It's water. Yeah, deep end kind of time. <laughs> what, do you, what do I do? What do I do? Get out your gun. Hide. Get out my gun? <laughs> Stop, gun. Don't yell. Stop, Stop yelling. Stop yelling. <laughs> we're all yelling. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm talking at a calm level. But quite it seems loudly. like we're all. It seems like you're yelling at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just tell me where to be. <laughs> okay, just uh, go hide. Um... Uh, keep out of sight and pull out your gun. Okay. Your dark gun. Don't shoot anything until I tell you. Hold on. Let me roll for Clyde to hide. Okay. Um, Clyde moves over into the area that's just on the edge of the bigger collection pool. It's great. Okay. <sighs> this is good, Clyde. Thank you. Positive reinforcement really helps. Uh, maybe, Barb, you should hide too. Yeah. And I'll be the bait. You'll be the bait. I mean, I usually am. Okay. Uh, where do you hide? I'll just go in the middle part. In that. 
Oh, Isn't also here? Yeah. Like, so also on the ledge. Yeah. yeah. The okay. Ledge. All of a sudden, there is a spotlight on the wall of the pipe to your left. It, you don't know where it's coming from. You can't see the light source. Mm. And you see a figure, a feminine figure, mm. with uh, cat ears mm. um, coming out of their hair. This is a silhouetted in this spotlight. Um, I just go, cool. Well, well, well. DP, hey. here we are. Hey. Thanks for showing up. I um, thought I should. There's a loud sound, and then uh, on the other side of the wall, a spotlight with a pink silhouette of uh, someone with kind of... You can just make out that they have, like, medium-length hair. Mm. Um, is like, we got you now, you little bitch. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm kind of into it, but you know, um, I'm I'm just yeah, I'm just visiting, you know. Uh, we're I should probably head out. Oh yeah! Before you do, though, here's a little present for you, and a small cylindrical object falls by your feet. I'll throw it in the water. I'll kick it back. <laughs> okay, roll. <At> them. <laughs> Three plus it's athletics, right? Yeah. Oh, it's not good. It's uh, three plus eight, so yeah. Eleven. Okay. Eleven. Let me Eleven. Just, there is a sudden flash of light. Oh, I love and a it. Deafening sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does it affect Barb and Clyde? It affects everyone. Fuck. Here we go again. I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> You can't do anything right now. I'm looking up the rules for flashback. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to do? Sorry. I'm throw a flashbang back at them. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you don't even know where to throw. I just, ahead, there's only so, a tunnel. Hmm, here we go. Okay. Everyone has to beat a resist torture and drugs check. Oh, that's no problem. Oh, I, I put points into that this time. Oh, come on. Oh, yes, there it is. 12 for me. So 12 plus 17. 13 for me. That's um, 9, 8, 19. Mm -hmm. DP, you pass. Barb, you do not. Mm. So I can still see. My rolls have been terrible. <laughs> Clive murders it. Yeah. He's fine. Clive, heck yeah. <laughs> okay. Barb, you are suffering from the damaged eye and damaged ear critical injuries right now for the next minute. Whenever you move further than four meters and feet, you cannot take a move action on your next turn. Additionally, you take a negative two to perception rolls when mm. hearing, mm. and then negative two to range attacks and perception checks involving vision. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's not too bad. No. No, it's not too not bad at all. Not nearly as bad as 2020, where you just can't see. Can't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to throw a, a flashbang back at them. Where Actually, are no. they, though? Yeah. Like, I don't know where they would okay, be. Okay, well, everyone roll initiative right now. I got 10. 9. 10 and 9, guys? <laughs> okay. Look, okay, we're rusty. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm... Okay, so I fumbled. Who's got the 10? Who's got the <laughs> Me. 10? I, I do. Yeah, you, got, no, you, you fumbled, and you're still going first, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I have a... My, yeah. So, Barb, uh, miraculously, <laughs> then it's a tie for the combatants and oh. DP. So I don't know. What about Clyde? Oh, Clyde. <laughs> Clyde's going before everyone. Oh, wow. Clyde goes first. Clyde, <laughs> Clyde okay. hit him with non lethal stuff. <laughs> we only have non lethal in the yeah. dark gun. Okay, Clyde um, is peeking out and he's just like, I don't see anyone. No, I oh, do right. think he would be able to. What? Wait, yeah. Where are they? He's not blind, though. No. No, but, they just... but they're just not in sight. Like, they're just somewhere yeah they said we oh i just saw i see silhouette i saw silhouettes of them yeah that means they're like above somehow you don't know how those silhouettes were created you didn't no. see the light source no hate that 
Well, you know it's beaming onto the opposite wall of you. So Roll it's... a perception, Clyde. <laughs> Roll a perception, Clyde. <laughs> um, nope. Okay. We don't see anything. Yeah, that's fair. Mm. All right, well, just, you know... I don't know what the hell you had to do. Okay, oh. so let's. We're moving on to Barb. I don't know what to do. <laughs> You're gonna have to find them or something. How can I find them with negative two to all perception checks? <laughs> I'm not gonna find shit. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe you should stay hidden then. I'm gonna just stay hidden. I'm gonna try and look for them. I guess use yeah. perception. Okay, use perception. Yeah, ah, that's pretty good. Twenty-three. You passed like another area. You went through one of the connecting pipes into this larger pipe. Mm. So there's there's basically movement all around you. Essentially where you uh, were, mm. they're now uh, no longer trying to hide it. A lot of sloshing boots. Um, you can also make out, now that you're looking for it, there are two little hollow projectors on either side of the walls oh, okay. hollow a little bit of a trickery on me huh oh. okay i'm gonna go um i'm just gonna start approaching that area like um you, the out the like the the turn to where they are kind okay. of that. you could make it all the way there well i guess as i'm walking i'm gonna say some stuff to them say um listen i know that you think i am somebody that uh, screwed you over potentially, but um, I'm a different version of DP. I know that's hard to understand, but like I don't remember what I did to you. I don't know who you are. Say you're a clone. I'm a clone, <laughs> basically. Yeah, and also, um, I mean, just look at you my hair and my glove. You just laughing, like cackling. Two, it's for two real, though. Voices are cackling, and now it is the combatant's turn. I just, I can't. Okay. No, I'm sorry. I think I know who. Can it I is. at least roll persuade? I, um, you can, yeah, sure. Okay. okay. You can roll. Do you know who it is? No. <laughs> I do. Okay. I don't know specifically, but. You can't. I have an idea. You can't really talk. I can't do anything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's really good. It's like 21. Mm. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. They respond, I guess, right before. And they're like, oh, oh okay. Well, I guess we'll just leave it up. Like, we'll leave. And we'll just let your other friends decide what to do with you. And in that moment, you hear uh, Clyde yell. No, don't, don't, don't leave. <laughs> ah, someone's, someone's grabbed me. Christ. And, um, mm. hello. Fucking hell. Oh, oh, great. These guys again. Am I going to get to... Well, well, well. I'm going to get to cut some <laughs> fucking numbers up. I'm Okay, I'm hyped for this. <laughs> okay. okay, Barb. Hmm. You are hit from behind. Like I can't dodge or anything. Uh, no, you no. did not see this coming. What is... What happens? Uh, you're slammed in the back with something. You oh. can't see it, or you don't really know what it is. And you take... 10 damage. Whoa! Really? Damn it. I'm seriously wounded again. How do they hit me from behind? I'm on a ledge. It must have come up from... From the... From below, water? in the pool water. <laughs> Fucking gross. Yeah. We're nasty like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you said that. Uh, yeah, Clyde's gonna try to escape from his grapple. Mm. Holy Clyde, what's gotten into you, oh, my man? <laughs> yes, <laughs> he told you we should have brought him. God. Clyde um pulls it out somehow. Does he shoot? Shoot! He shoot! He can't Clyde. shoot. That was his action. Ah, oh, damn it. He's gonna move back so they have to climb up okay i guess it's my turn mm -hmm. i'm seriously injured so i have to take negative two negative two all my actions on top of any on top of negative on two top of your, perception your tech, yeah what are you gonna do i don't know no one's near me i'd have to like run up to where dp is and if you do you can't move your next action yeah you're in a bit of pickle but i'm gonna have to press you for an answer what do I have on me? I have that microwave gun. They don't use technology. That's useless. Do I have an explosive? Ah. 
I have a big bomb. I know you have a big bomb. <laughs> Which I may... Want to consider that you're in a pipe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. I don't know. I guess I'd just try to get out of sight again. I don't know. Like... You'll, I think you have trouble knowing what out of sight would be, right? Because you're damaged mm -hmm. eyes, so... Mm. A lot of things are out of sight to you right now. Oh, I have damage deflection on my my combat awa awareness thing. Okay, well, what? How? That's plus two. So you only negative took one damage. Okay. You only took whatever. Are you still critically nine injured? Nine I'm still critically injured. Okay. Now. Yeah, I can't do much. I'm gonna have to like go. To, I guess I head towards DP. However far away that is. You can make it there. Sure. Yeah. You can also do an action here, but you cannot move next turn. I have- I also have precision attack. I'm just gonna cl clock this guy with my big nux. Just throw a huge punch. 16. Negative yeah. 2. Oh yeah, negative 2, so... But then plus whatever your attack. Precision attack. Oh, it's plus 2 to attack. I wrote it down. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, good. So, so you just have it I, 16. 16. Yeah. So it just- it cancels right. out. No, he pulls away from this one. I suppose it's my turn. Yeah. Okay. I pull out the big grenade. <laughs> the big, big bomb. No, not the big bomb. Yeah. You have a gun. Use it. I pull out the big bomb. No, no arguments. I have you can't. to do <laughs> you can't what I have even to do, up. Lindsay. You should blow everyone up. I'm not going to blow. Right I'm not going to blow everyone up. Okay. But here, here, this is what I'm going to do. I'm pulling out the big bomb and I say, get the fuck back. Or I'm going to blow this entire place up. Okay. That's what I say. I persuade? persuade? Mm. Or intimidate? No. And I, oh, oh, oh. Intimidate. Okay, well, let me There's add some no juice to it. Though. It's add a some face down. It. Yeah, face down. Face down. So, I also say, if you don't think I will, I've died multiple times, mm. uh, and I just keep coming back, so mm -hmm. I'm not worried about uh, me dying. It's uh, y'all that have to worry about that. What about me? What about Clyde? They got clones somewhere, too. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Four plus nine. Uh, Thirteen, but don't I have any rep? It's also your rep. Yeah. Don't we have a rep? I guess you have a rep with these guys. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so the guy in front of you goes, Did you hear that, everyone? This one wants to offer us a clean death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course it doesn't work. And uh, <laughs> two more people come out of the shadows. <laughs> And this one runs up. So there's now four numbers in front of you. Uh, um, and four numbers. One of them. I'd say four people. <laughs> that's just you know to differentiate them. The one that you said that to is trying to grab you, and the bomb as well. Oh good. <laughs> Clamor onto it. Uh, I get to resist. Right? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put two luck points into this. Sure. Nine plus eight. Oh, nine plus eight. Okay, yeah. Seven. So, so yeah. Okay, Just so that one failed, but the other ones are also trying the same thing. Great. Everyone's trying Love to grab it. the bomb now. Love it. This really <laughs> backfired on me. Okay, roll again for a wager. Oh, Jesus. Oh, another on. one point of luck in this roll. <laughs> Seven plus one. 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 Uh, yeah, eight plus eight. Sixteen. Is that yeah. what it is? Yeah. Just made it again. 16. Made, just made it again. Okay, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So one more the third one now. So the, I gotta put another point in there. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... I fuck. That one? Six, six plus eight. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, no. Still made it on that one. Oh last, one. last one. Last one. Last one. Rolled real high on this one. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna put Okay, I'm gonna put the rest of my luck points, which is three. Okay. Three, three points, points of luck. Yeah. Eight plus three, ten, eleven. Wait, eleven? Eleven, sorry, eleven, 11, plus, 11 plus eight. So nineteen. Oh, okay. So you just managed to keep the bomb away from four clamoring cult members. I'm gonna put it away next. Yeah. <laughs> Just put that fucking thing away. 
please. Look, I tried to do a Hail Mary to get us out of here because no. so, you were in a bad spot and it backfired, okay? I, I can admit when I, my plans go wrong. And uh, two others move up here, mm. blocking you guys from Clyde. Clyde, how do they fucking know we're here? Uh, <laughs> Clyde. Okay. Clyde's turn. Clyde's turn. Clyde's gonna be like, is it okay to take a shot? Yes. Do whatever you do it. set phasers to kill. Kill. <laughs> okay. Uh, Clyde misses. Damn it, Clyde. <laughs> They're right in front of you. They're point blank. <laughs> yeah, he gets to take another shot. Okay. Uh, huh? And great. Okay, he shoots one. Good. But that guy's Good. still standing. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Remember, it does damage, too. Yeah, it does do damage as well as yeah. effect. It's 42. 46. 46. Ooh. Whoa. He's still standing. <laughs> what? Really? Uh, hey, Ow. Fucking guys. <gasps> oh, 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 okay. Now I got another. Give me more, please. <laughs> Maybe I should attack, though. I keep trying to persuade people. It's not your turn. It's my turn. Yeah. Right. I'm just trying to think of, like, what I should do, what we should do. You're still holding that bomb. Okay. Yeah. Barb. I'm gonna grapple the guy closest to me. I don't. There, it's a clusterfuck over here. Oh. Fourteen plus <laughs> eleven. <laughs> it's like twenty twenty-five. Okay, you grab him, and he okay. says, "Complete my purpose," <laughs> which means kill him. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Is this really what they want? I throw him into the guy behind me or behind him. Uh, I think you have to grab a person then and the then next throw turn. them on then the next, the next turn. turn. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're just holding this guy. Still a lot more. So My turn. it's DP's turn. Put away the grenade. Put in away the bomb. Okay. That's one thing I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Can Why I do are you that? doing that? <laughs> can I do another attack? <laughs> sure. Or something? Can I? Yeah. Do I persuade again? Do I attack? I have another stupid idea. How can we kill all these people like individually? You know, that's my thing. That you're in a bad. I'm gonna have to. So I'm gonna have to them. push you for an answer. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, um, yell really loud, 519, and then I'm gonna be like, that's the number I saw in the meat. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna try and persuade them that I'm actually a, a, a number, <laughs> a secret number. And I'm going to pull out my sword and carve like 19 and carve like a one in my hand. Okay, you just said some wild (laughs) shit right there. So I'm going to need you to make us. We'll go ahead with this. This is the kind of GM I am. I'll let you try this. But you're going to have to make some rolls here. One, before you even make the persuasion, you're going to have to do a resist torture and drugs while you torture yourself. Okay, yeah. Writing numbers inside of, on your on yourself. Oh, you're okay. writing numbers I'm writing on a yourself? number on my hand. You're carving a oh, number. Carving a number into God. With your sword? Yeah, with my sword. <laughs> with a, okay, yeah. How? I, mean, I don't have a knife, I don't think. I won't even make you run a roll for this attack. Okay, I'm gonna roll for resist torture and drugs. Yeah. <sighs> Two plus, but my resist torture and drugs is 12, so 14. I don't think it's enough. No. <laughs> They're going to take some damage. I'm going to say that that was, I don't, it's not even the damage. I think you just you failed just can't to do, do it. it. I think you were like, yeah. ow. Oh, and then you just stopped. <laughs> you just stopped. Can I persuade though? <laughs> persuade? I mean, you can try now, but man, the it's, difficulty. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on, 10. Oh my One. God. That's a fumble. <laughs> yeah. We're dead. We're going to die. <laughs> Three. Okay. Negative three I, to your... Yeah, I don't think... Whatever. I, I think all rep is negated here. They think I'm a fool. You think you're a fool. <laughs> kind of um, A liar. <laughs> an, imp- yeah. an imposter. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you, yeah, That's I think you're in a lot of trouble with trying persuading... Again, yeah, that was that it. was a wild well, card. I, at move. least I have my sword out now. Just shoot them or <laughs> slice them or do something, please. It's their turn. Yes, it is. Yeah, the one that you're grabbing, Barb, is going to try to escape. Oh, he fumbled. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. He actually wrapped himself for further around <laughs> into <you> my grasp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tries to get out and just hugs you. <laughs> it's kind of nice, actually. Um. 
Another one uh, drops a another cylinder onto the ground. Oh God! Oh my God! Does he react? These? Can we? Can you react? Like, can we like hide kick our it eyes away or something? Like, plug our shit. Or? You can. Yeah, I guess you could. Barb, you can't. You're holding. No, somebody. I can't. But yeah, you I'll have do that. To do okay. It. But this one is actually uh, shoots an electrical charge through the water, Ooh. injuring everybody. Ah. Uh. Never mind. Plugged my ears and I got shocked. What damage is that? It's a 10 damage. 10 damage? Oh, God. Uh, I'm in critical, like... Well, we're fucked. Um, I'm at... I'm seriously wounded. I'm way past seriously wounded. So armor doesn't help with this, I guess. No. No. Okay. Oh, I haven't been taking into account my skin weave and shit. Skin weave won't help you on this one. But it or the flash. with the it hit. with the hit. Yeah, it did with the hit. Yeah, and my had... body has 11 SP anyway. And you didn't take the 11 into account? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, I guess... What was the first oh, damage? It. Was it, it was... Ten. Oh, so it wouldn't have gotten any... Yeah. No. Yeah. Damn so it. you're... Yeah, take so, away 10. Okay, you gotta... Yeah, take away back, 9 damage. Yeah. Okay, now everybody start rolling some dodges as they are whipping stun <sighs> batons at you. Damn. What? Where are they getting all this shit? What is that, athletics? 19 for me. Two. <laughs> Negative two. Oh no, it's evasion. Oh, that's even higher, okay. Yeah, that's like 21 for me. Okay, but, <laughs> 21. Wait, no, athletics, oh, so it's evasion? Oh, it's evasion, yeah. My evasion's not great. Nine plus, oh yeah, so nine. Okay, that's uh, 10 stun damage, so it's not going to kill you, it's but just if you're at you. zero, you're stunned. Yeah. I have eight points. Yeah, you're eight stunned. Eight hit points. Okay, next one. There's another one? Oh, wait, evasion, yeah. Oh I have, like, already some ideas 16? for Fast and Furious, so if this is where it ends, <laughs> don't worry, I can get us going again. <laughs> 16 evade for me. Okay. Uh, 10 stun damage. But does, wait, does that negate armor? No. Oh shit! Then okay, hold on. I, then I didn't. Yeah, it, didn't it didn't get me. It didn't get me either. Me. The stun damage. I have eleven, 11 for body. SP, yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. It's um, top of the order, right? It's Clyde. Yeah, it's Clyde. Clyde. Okay, Clyde. Please shoot. Clyde, do better. something good, <laughs> please. Takes a shot. It's great. Nice. Nice. Uh, n- takes out one of them. Nice, Clyde. Clyde. Coming through. <laughs> yes. It's the new round, right? No, it's no, um, it's my turn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the new round was with Clyde, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, everybody takes another ten damage because the the electric the electric shock. Okay. Is well, now I'm now I'm on eight. <sighs> now it's bad. Okay. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. I tried to use my skills. Um, it's your turn. Uh, I guess I just throw the guy I'm grappling at the three guys behind Trying to clear him. a path? Yeah. yeah. Okay, go for it. Yes. Yes! Yes! 26. Or, no, 28. 28? Yeah. Okay, shit. Your body stat directly to their hit points. Uh, is 8. They kind of fall back into... Uh, just like a rat's nest of of numbers at this point. Hmm. This fucking cat. <laughs> Just sitting in front of the TV. So there's no one in between Clyde and us now, right? No, you no. threw it at the three people in front of you. Yeah, oh, well, Clyde killed somebody, I guess. It was not killed. So there's still one. There's still one left. There's still one left because the, the cat. Yeah. <laughs> if we book it, Clyde's done. We just left Clyde behind. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. Also, I feel weird. like, is there an action that I can do where I can just, like, stop that stun thing from happening? Can you kick it away? Yeah, the electric thing? Pulse thing? Yeah, I mean, if you could get creative with it, I guess. I can't directly answer Yeah, I was, I was just wondering that. if it was, like, stupid to try. No, please, kick it away. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take off my jacket and wrap the thing in that and in order to try not to get electrocuted by it. And then um, throw it onto like a ledge or something so it's not connected to the water that we're on. Is that an option? 
Yeah. You could throw it uh, towards Clyde, because there was like, there's a bunch of shit there Mm. from when you knocked over that wall. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. Okay. What's your jacket made of? This is just, you're already doing that. I think it's Kevlar. Oh, no. Oh, Oh, shit. That's my, my jacket is, I take it back. My jacket is my armor. I can't do that. I mean, we are. are, Mm. I didn't know. I didn't remember that that was what was going on. Well, you have to think about that. (laughs) Yeah. It's like I I asked that question because I need to figure out the conductivity of your jacket. And so I already feel like we're. All right, fine. (laughs) What kind of jacket is it? It's a leather jacket. I don't know. It's It's like armor. Oh, it should be fine then. It shouldn't be very conductive. Is leather conductive? I mean, it's like Kevlar. Everything's wet. Yeah, went so it was a stupid idea. Um, It'll stop it from happening again, but you're gonna take damage now. Can't take damage. I got eight points left. Well, what are we gonna do? Let it kill us? Like if I take another ten points of damage, I'm dead. I'm dead now, basically. If it does d- hit, hit, hits me with ten more damage, I'm stunned. But that's what's happening. I'm sorry. You yeah. went ahead with it. I did it. This, you, this is your heroic sacrifice. I, should I roll athletics or? Just you gotta roll to see if you pull this off. Got no luck left. Five. Five plus eight. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> no, th- no, thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Is that a bit? Is it's that a ba- basic action? No. I'm sorry. Uh, you do feel like you had a chance of succeeding as you slowly <laughs> fall into a dark blackness. Uh, DP is unconscious now. I think I did a great job in this combat. That scenario. <laughs> so bad. I mean, I don't hear anyone else congratulating me, so I'll just do it myself. Okay. Um, it has moved. Uh, <sighs> Clyde did not get out of the way. Clyde is hit by the jacket <laughs> and the electric thing. And uh, Oh, I didn't even know DP managed to throw it before yeah, he went down. It just didn't make it. Didn't make it all the way to the wood oh. and rubble that I was trying to throw it to. But it did hit Clyde. Good. Second best option. So, uh, yeah, Clyde's now tangled in the jacket with the electric bomb going off. Barb, you're seeing all this. You've got four numbers on the ground. You've got DP passed out in some water. You have one number hanging around, pretty, pretty wounded, and... Uh, Clyde looks like he's in a mess. What do you do? Mm. You got like a... Yes. S- I don't have a plan to get us... A- just <laughs> save the day. <laughs> oh, I have a microwaver. I can stop the baton. Or the, I can stop the stupid pulse thing. Take a shot at it. How did I not think of that earlier? <laughs> Instead, I died. Or Eight didn't die. Plus what? Got knocked unconscious. My gun? Yeah, it's like 20. Yeah. Took out that electrical pulse after DP died. I felt great. <laughs> I felt great. DP is not dead. However, you are... Based down in water. Based down in water. Ew. <laughs> yeah. So, Barb, uh, that was your action, right? Yeah. Okay. The four cult members are up on their feet. The other one is holding Clyde and the electrical charge. Uh, just making sure that Clyde can't get out of that and they're both essentially just shocking themselves unconscious now no they're not i i oh yeah you hit the thing thing. right yeah so i guess he'll grapple clyde then okay he's got clyde okay great (laughs) um and that's the situation what do you do i guess i just go try and help clyde i don't know like i can't i don't have like a wide like radius damage that I can do to anyone. <laughs> like, and, and I don't have long-range weapons. I guess I'll just get Clyde out. You move over to Clyde, and you're now face-to-face with the numbers. What do you do? Slit his throat. <laughs> <laughs> Go and leave. Monoblade. <laughs> just done with this shit. 18. Does not dodge. So my first hit, 8 damage. The second hit, yes. 10. 16 plus. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> 9, 13. 13 damage. 8 and 13 damage. <laughs> okay, yeah. He's, he's just he's pouring blood <laughs> everywhere. 
uh, all over Clyde, all over you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what else I'm going to do. At that moment, there is... You can... Someone pulls into the pipe in front of the numbers. You can't see them. But there is now a rapid fire of... Uh, Bean bags. Bean bags? <laughs> At me? Yeah. Okay. How are they getting all this equipment? Where are they getting all this? We got <laughs> ambushed. I mean, yeah. Who told them we were even here? Okay. Um, what is that damage? Or can I dodge? You can dodge. I can try and I'll try and dodge. Yeah, it's They're very bags. difficult. Really? To dodge bean bags? <laughs> well, you're in a small area, and they're oh. just flooding it with, yeah. with these things. Twenty. So negative. negative two. So that'll be eighteen. Okay, we're gonna say that's enough, but you can't stay here. No. You, just so leave me. Gotten, <laughs> you've gotten through this one part, but what do you do? Can I ask? Is that an exit? Yes. Oh. Yeah. As I said, Quite that. Fine. These these ledges go into the into the big pool that I talked about, where all the water is mm. is forming. That's where they snuck up behind you. So you can leave through there. Just wanted to clarify. Okay, Clyde, let's go. We're <laughs> grabbing DP. We're jumping off the ledge. That's all I can think to do right now. <laughs> okay. Um, You're gonna grab me. Yeah. Well, they're essentially moving up to DP. So it's... It's a race. I don't think that you have the... Yeah, you could try to grab DP, but you probably take hits from the beanbags. I can't just leave DP. Tell Clyde to do it, maybe. Clyde grab DP? Okay, uh, Clyde goes, okay, he rushes oh in. God. He just keeps getting hit by beanbags, so <laughs> he approaches DP <laughs> until he also passes out into a Oh, no! <laughs> What? I don't know what's gonna. I'm as fucking clueless as you are right now. I guess I'm leaving. I don't wow. know. Like what? I what am I supposed to do? I'm outnumbered. Yeah, right. Yeah. Outnumbered. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> okay, so you leave. Yeah. Thank okay. God, it's fucking numbers. So Sorry, as numbers. the beanbags shoot through the pipes. As DP and Clyde are lying face down in dirty water, being muscled around by the numbers, Barb, you slip away, and that is where we are calling it here. Okay. Fuck. Where yeah. are the beanbag guns from? What? <laughs> they just, it's just the everything. Form of non-lethal ammo. Do they always have guns, though? No. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. It's yeah. I don't know. Not Did so they far. no. Not so far. No. no. You had the impression. I guess you. You had the impression that some. Well, number one. Someone it's gave not them just supplied. it's not just the numbers. Yeah, here, like right? someone supplied them with yeah. these things. Yeah, this ambush looks like it was orchestrated by someone or two people specifically. Right, so. cat girl and other and, and pink. girl, pink hair, pink hair. Yeah, <laughs> I think um, I know who they are though. <laughs> and so yeah, they came prepared to wreck you. Hmm. Okay. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, we will uh, see you in a couple weeks. Uh, thanks again for everyone uh, tuning in. Have, I hope you all had a happy New Year's, a decent holidays, and, and stayed um, and safe. Stayed he yeah, healthy and that safe. Cron out there. Um, I want to once again thank our Patreon producers: uh, Ether Sphinx, Christian Fish, Zets, Tiberius Kerberus, Bison Antiquus. 
Thank you all, and thanks to Artelsorian Games for making Cyberpunk Red. Yeah. Yeah, there's Patreon NPCs. Uh, we had Zen, who was a character created by Dr. Satan Rx. We had Delta Serrano, who was a character created by Chelsea. We have, of course, Clyde, the character created by the White Fire. And we had Dr. Nebbiolo, a character created by nerf herders wait isn't he with us right now currently yeah. who's he with? yeah he's with us he's on he's on your person me personally yeah not Lindsay. i mean not barb um we didn't uh, say we didn't well, you know what we'll roll a uh, eats and all, even Ooh, some gameplay in the yeah. in the wrap up here we got even, even? yeah okay, Barb's good I, I got done <laughs> Thank God. Dr. Is all right. <laughs> hopefully he's waterproof <laughs> dr nebbiolo is with you barb hmm. Okay, well, that's something. You can follow us on uh, Twitter at Rocket Adrift for updates. Uh, and you can also join our Discord, but it is invite only. So you'll have to add us on Twitter. Or if you're our patron, you can message us on Patreon for an invite code. And we'll send that to you. Send an email, comment on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Well, Leave if a you, review. If you call, ask for it. You, you, well, you'll... You ask and you shall receive. <laughs> um, that's it, everybody. Thank you again. Trans rights are human rights and Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.